Welcome back, this is Reich. Last time, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing over here. And it seems we got a puzzle. And that's wrong. I'm gonna guess I got it. Alrighty. I'm gonna guess I have to hit them in the 1, 2, 3 order? I mean, that's not the craziest thing, but... I can't really... I know what I gotta do. You got to, uh, pegasize your boots into a, um, into... Oh, god damn, I'm... I'm... Okay, I can't... There we go. That was unnecessary. Ah, I am frog hopping my way to death. That was right. Okay. There we go. That was... I got a little out of hand there, and I was trying to make sure to rebalance everything to the proper way it's supposed to be, if that's the proper phrase to say. I keep saying proper, I don't know why. Mr. Trampoline. Wait. Shit. Uh. Uh. Okay, it's a super thing, and I landed on the platform. Alrighty, we need Mr. Owl to tell me how's it going today. Mr. Owl, how's it going today? And below me, red. My right, red. Only I shine blue. Uh, well, there's a staircase. Uh, only his right, my right, red. Okay, his right is red. So, I assume that. Or is it that? I don't know. But below me... Uh... Alrighty. I didn't think that was gonna do it. I was just slashing. But I guess it means as in the bottom. And I gotta kill these guys. Oh god. This is gonna go bad. This is gonna go bad. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Not okay. Not okay. Not okay. Okay, let's see. Is there anything I can do to change any of this? Nope. I was gonna try to see if I could counter it out. Now I get to go all the way back here. Okay, round two. Against skelly men. Ugh, this is more than a little frustrating. Because you gotta dodge everything as well as push these guys into the side. And those guys jump directly at you too, making it even worse. Okay, I got three quarters of a heart to do this. There we go. That was. Oh, Bosky, that is super useful. So now we know what to do, and we just go back over to where the boss door is, which is not far from here. And I'm dead. That's really lame. Okay, so let's get back there again. Are you kidding me? Did that just... Did that just happen? Did that just happen? Did that just happen? I'm just trying to get to a place. Okay, we made it there with... Four and a half hearts. We are going to need this and likely the rock escape. Here we go. And it's the guy. Uh, it's the boss from Zelda 1. Uh, the giant dinosaur thing with multiple heads. Uh, it's going to surround me in a barrier. And I died. That was super quick. Uh, I'm just dying over and over. Okay, the second round two of today. Wow, that hurt. We're just gonna brute force this. Just try to slash our way without any sense of thought or care for this dragon and his sensibilities. Oh, Jesus. I nearly had full health and now I'm nearly fully dead. I am fully dead. Wow. 
round three. Okay, round three. Last time brute forcing did not work. And he starts it off by doing that at me. Okay. I'm just going to try to focus on a single head and see how that goes. Not well, apparently. Okay, he has so many different attacks you can't actually, like, play predictable against him. Like, the only safest way is, like, slash once or twice and then run away. So... Okay, yeah, and when he does that little summon thing, that's a lot of open time. And there's one head. Okay. Oh. Uh, the fuck is that head doing? Okay, I'm trying to play to the side. Uh, wait. I have to... The head can come back. So, not only is this a boss with a gigantic amount of health, but since he's stationary, they know you're going to slash it a whole lot on top of that. Oh god, this is a very well thought out boss. So, oh god. Your best option is always just to be moving in a diagonal direction away from them. There's one head, now I gotta kill the other quickly. Come on. Nope, nope. Oh, wow, that is. Whew, this may take some time. Okay, I have to hit them in tandem, and I can't focus on a single one. They really thought out this boss a lot, a lot. Okay. Okay, if I can get him to do the lock on me when I'm, like, close to them, let's just keep alternating, I guess. Okay. Tried to lock me when I was far away, that was smart of them. I th this is a very well-programmed boss, even though it's based off the Zelda 1 one, like... Okay, let's slash it, there we go. Oh! Uh, okay, he's ground-pounding. Okay, yeah. Oh god, he's going to wreck me this... Let's just keep... Oh god, I can't keep up. How much damage does he even deal? Only a heart's worth. And I still get hit for that. There we go, and I did it with one heart. That took a lot of focusing. Um... Yeah, wow, that was just... Well designed. It... You had to kill him with it in tandem. If you're far away, they have ways to attack you. If you're up close, they had get up, knock you away attacks, and they can lock you down, preventing you from moving. That kind of looks like a nutsack, but we're not gonna. We're just gonna pretend it doesn't. So life begins anew when birds carry this seed of life, which looks vaguely like a nutsack. so beautiful. The last essence of nature, but this time I saw no dreams. You gotta find it somewhere. Okay, fuck you too, man. But, if you remember, there's still a heart piece around here I gotta fetch out, but like, yeah, wow, that boss... That, they took a Zelda 1 boss and just made it... They, like, flipped it upside down. So I gotta find a way to not make it winter. So I gotta find the nearest stump. And the stump is... Is it here? Like, do I just jump in there? Can I jump in there? No, I can't. Do I gotta, like, push the right thing? Like a stool's gonna... Oh god, let's get the shovel and start trying to explore, I guess. I guess... I couldn't figure anything out. But we got a geisha seed, so I guess that's important. Geisha nut. 200 rupees. That's a whole lot of useless shit for me. So let's check out this cavern again real quick. And since I got my boy Rock's cape, we can just glide on over here and see what's going the fuck down. And upstairs, it it's a way I can make it fall time and come back up here. Okay, that was a lot of time that could have been saved.
And there we go, we did the obvious puzzle with the obvious solution once we figured out that we had the proper tools in mind. So what we're gonna do is, you know, a little one, oh, gotta actually lift the mushroom. It's a normal little mushroom and a piece of heart giving me, is that my first one? Oh wait, no, is that enough for a full? Or... Wait, no. Uh... How many pieces of heart do I have? Oh, that was my first one, so... And I have all these things, just... Here! Geisha seeds, rings, cards, red ore, dragon key... Damn! So... Ooh, I'm just gonna run away from that guy. Uh, what else do I actually have? I'm gonna hit select and then go like... Bam! Oh, nope, nope, that doesn't work like that. Okay! So... I have no idea what I'm doing. This may be a short episode, considering how much content I'm gonna have to cut out. But... Yeah, there really isn't anything for me to figure out exactly what to do. Well, I got Rock's Cape now, but yeah, I it's probably somewhere in these areas I haven't seen yet. And with that, I will see all of y'all next time.